All right, you guys ready for some live dials live on speaker where you can actually hear what the prospect's saying and what I say, right? Using the script that we use. Dylan is always like, dude, people love your live dials because you're a freaking phenom on the phone. He doesn't say that, but I say it, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some live dials. I've got 40 fresh final expense leads that have came in today, this morning, over the last five hours. I'm about to call them, see how we do. No pressure, right? Thanks for being with us. Check this thing out. I'm about to dial for these right now for you. Let me know what you think in comments below. Hello, we are not available. Hello, I'm looking for Eileen. This is she. Hey, Eileen, this is Cody. Hey, I'm getting back to you about your request for the new final expense information. Uh, you'd went on Facebook and put your favorite color as purple. I'm assuming you remember that, right? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm the local field underwriter, and I'll be out in your area on Monday. Should I drop this information off in the morning or in the afternoon? Well, afternoon could be better. Okay. And I've got a 2 o'clock or a 4 o'clock. Which works better for you? Probably 2. 2 o'clock, okay. And are you still at... Yes, I am. Okay. And can you do me a favor and grab a pen and paper really quick just so I can have you write this down? I'm going to actually go ahead and add you to my calendar now as well. Just let me know when you're ready, okay? Okay. Time to pay them. Yeah. There's never one there when you need it, huh? No, there are always a dozen when you don't need one. Oh, there you go. This is also true. <laughs> That's always my problem. Okay, my name is Cody, C-O-D-Y, and just go ahead and write Monday at 2 o'clock. And I'm actually putting you in my calendar as, as well now. And, and also, is, is there any re reason why you wouldn't be there Monday at 2? Can you think of anything? Pardon me? Is there any reason you wouldn't be there Monday at 2 o'clock? Can you think of any reason at all? Mm, not really. Okay, okay. Excellent. Well, I've got you in my calendar for Monday at 2. I hope you have a great weekend, and we'll see you then. Okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. All right. We finally got somebody to answer the phone. Also, I had somebody else call me back and leave a voicemail, so I'm going to call them back real quick. Uh, I think it was my fifth or sixth dial that's called that called me back and left a voicemail. Uh, nine, two, two. So I'm gonna try that one back real quick while it's fresh on their brain and while they're trying to reach me. So we got one appointment. Oh, missed him again. All right. So we're going to move on to Lorraine.
couldn't tell if that was the male or female to answer the phone in the last one too. I hate hate to say that, but that's that's why I didn't just say her name outright. You'll notice I also used the fact that they responded on Facebook and the favorite color as like a quick way to move them in my direction. Uh, hers was, yeah, purple. And so you're able to hear me actually use that as a way to jog her memory, get her in a state of agreement, get her to move my direction a little bit. Uh, 230 Now we're looking for Linda. Let me know in chat if you guys can hear this okay as well. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic... Anybody else kind of say the name in there? In the Hello? Hello, Laurel. Yeah. Hey, this is Cody. I'm getting back to you about your request for the new final expense information. It was on Facebook, and you put your favorite color blue. I'm assuming you remember that, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm the local field underwriter, and I'll be out in your area on Monday. Should I drop this information off in the morning or in the afternoon? Okay, so maybe like uh, 9 a.m.? Yeah, something like that. Okay, 9's good. Okay, excellent. And, and you're still at... Uh... Yeah, and she wants to know if she You said room 206? No, it's Motel 6. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Room 104. Gotcha. Room 104. 104, gotcha, okay. And can you do me a favor and grab a uh, pen and paper real quick? I'm actually gonna go ahead and add you to my calendar as well. And just l let, me know, let me know when you grab that. I've got it. Okay, excellent. My name's Cody, so if you wanna go ahead and write that down, C-O-D-Y, and then Monday at 9 a.m. if you wanna write that down as well, okay? I'm putting you in my calendar now. And can you, can you, th real quick, can you think of any reason why Monday at 9 a.m. wouldn't work? No. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Excellent. Well, I've got you in my calendar for Monday at 9 a.m. I, I appreciate your time very much and hope you have a great weekend. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Bye-bye. Bye. There we got some chat rolling. Kellen, thank you so much. Rick, thank you, thank you. All right, we're a couple in. A couple, two answers, two appointments. If we can get, uh, I mean, that's the thing with, with any leads. If you've got a good script like Bill talks about, you know, and you get something to follow and a good system, uh, as long as you get them on the phone, you won't get them all, but you get, you, you get, you, you get a good amount of them.
appreciate you guys spending a little time watching. Your call has been forwarded. Sharon. Sharon. Hello, Sharon. Yes. Hey, this is Cody. Hey, I'm getting back to you about your request for the new final expense information. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I really didn't. I was just on. I did not mean to make I have a parents call me. I just happened was looking at it on my Facebook, and sure. the response was, I'll call you back. So, anyway, I'm at work now. So No, no worries. Um, okay, thanks. I want to make sure I at least get you the information, though. What uh, is morning or afternoon is better to drop that off? Okay. That's fine. Thanks anyway. Well, I'll, I'll be out there Monday. Do you know what time you're working? Ah, lost it. She saw afterwards. She probably saw on the thank you page. Hey, I, hey, I'm getting a call, and 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 naturally, you know, maybe didn't want to call. Uh, it's it's I have to, like it's it, it's it's I have to always pol politely keep. Pushing, you know, because there's times where you can you can end up overcoming that. Your call has been forwarded. We we uh we we preach our agree, answer, and ask to overcome objections, always finish with a question. And it worked, it worked on her once, uh, didn't work on her the second time. But it kept her on the phone a little longer than some agents maybe would have been able to. So hopefully it will, wasn't an appointment, but hopefully it'll help to hear that, kind of in a live scenario like that. And I promise I'll get to the questions. I'm seeing them coming now. My apologies. Hello? Rafaela. Uh, yes? Yeah. This is Cody. Hey, I'm getting back to you about your request for the new final expense information. It was on Facebook, and you put your favorite color as purple. I'm assuming you remember that. Hung up. That was. It says she's that she's she's local, but the number was in Puerto Rico. So. Six, six, eight, two, eight, two. I went through quite a few. Uh, one of the reasons I ask that is I feel like always asking an extra question at the end, kind of like, hey, would there be any reason why you wouldn't be able to be there? There's some agents wouldn't like to do that. I like to do it because I, I, I've already booked the appointment. I'm not worried about losing it at that point. Some, some would be. Um, but I, uh, I ask it because a lot of times, like for instance, you'll ask someone if they're busy and they'll tell you um, no. And then they'll think about it for a few minutes and be like, oh, wait, I, ha I had this. You know? And it's kind of like human nature to just say, I don't know or no, or like, you know, they're not sure. And so sometimes it'll actually get them to remember that they have something that would have gotten the way. So that's why I use it. Um, average price of Facebook leads, uh, $19. Uh, tie downs are important when closing a schedule appointment. Yeah, that's another reason I do it is it, it's, it's, an, it's a way to concrete the appointment. It's a way to get them thinking. Um, a lot of times I'll even throw in um, some type of directions or, hey, will my Google Maps get me there maybe? Um, just as a way to, sometimes I'll throw in like, you know, what, describe your house for me, what color is it? You know, is it a house, a trailer, apartment? Like, cause if there's, there's things that you need to know, um, a lot of times I can tell by the address, there's several, uh, there's a few apartments in here. Most of them are homes, uh, but there's some apartments. Hello? L Leroy. Yes. Hey, this is Cody. Hey, I'm getting back to you about your request for the new final expense information. Uh, you had went on Facebook and put your favorite color as red. I'm assuming you remember that. Yeah, 
Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm the local field underwriter, and I'll be out in your area on Monday. Should I drop this off in the morning or the afternoon? Well, uh, 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 that was on that uh, death deal. Right. It had to do with final expenses. Yes, sir. Yeah, I was I was just looking. I'm, I'm not really all that uh, um, excited about it, but I was yeah. dozing. Sure, sure, yeah, and, and, and it's just my job to drop off the information since you requested it, so you have it, and it's totally up to you with what you do with it. Um, is is morning or afternoon typically better to drop that off? Actually, uh, what day is that again? Monday. Monday. Uh, it probably wouldn't make any difference. Whatever, uh, I should be around here. Okay. Any time, uh, Monday. I've got a, a, a t 10 o'clock and a 2 o'clock. Which is better? Um, let's, let's just go Monday, 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 Monday. Let's just go uh, 10 o'clock. Okay, okay. Oh, excellent. Thank you, sir. Um, and is it a, uh, are, are you still at? I'm at Okay. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Um, and then can you grab a pen and paper real quick? Cause I'm going to go ahead and, um, have you write something down and I'm going to put you in my calendar right now too. Okay. Uh, I tell you, I'm, uh, let me see if I can find a pencil here. So. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate you looking. They're not always easiest to find sometimes, but Okay, what have you done? Okay, so my name's Cody. C O D. Cody? Yes, sir. C O D Y. Okay. And if you can go in and write down Monday at 10 a.m. And I'll make sure to drop it off then. Um, okay. And then can, can, you th can you think of any reason? There's, there's nothing on your, you said there's nothing on your calendar? Nothing on my calendar? No. Okay, okay. Excellent. Well, I will. Uh, I will drop it off Monday at 10 a.m. I appreciate your time, sir. Okay, I will. I will be here. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend. You too. Bye -bye. Thank you. Yes, sir. Bye bye. So that's that's a good example of a call. So he so he gave me a uh, little bit of an objection, right? He said, "Hey, that was the thing on." He said that was the thing on Facebook. Um, and he's like, "I I just wanted information, right? You know, I really didn't." Uh, I forget exactly what he said, but, and then, and then I was able to say, you know, exactly, you know, it, it's, you responded to get information. That's what I'm here to do is drop it off. It's up to you with what you do with the information. It's just my job to get it to you since you requested it. Um, and then back with another question to keep control of the call is morning or afternoon better. And then that's how that kind of came along. So that was, that was a great, that was a good example of one, um, one, one hung up on me. Um, and didn't, didn't even get through the opening pitch, right? And that happens. You know, I could text it later. I can door knock it. There, there may be other opportunities. Um, one out of the four that actually listened, yeah, I mean, th three were set. So not not perfect, but uh, I haven't called I haven't called leads in a while, so I'm rusty, right? But you guys are literally, you guys are able to do this exact same thing. Um, the scripts come in super quick. The, the, the leads do. They're, they're exclusive. It's, it's, uh, it's, not, it's really not rocket science. We try to lay it out for you completely. So. Hello. Hello, Johnny. Yes, sir. Hey, this is Cody. Hey, I'm getting back to you about your request for the new final expense information. It was on Facebook, yes. and you put your favorite color yeah. as blue? Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm the local field underwriter, and I'll be out in your area on Monday. Should I drop that off in the morning or in the afternoon? Well, we do mornings better. Okay. I can do either like a 9 or an 11. Okay. Which is better for you? Matters not. What's that, sir? It doesn't matter. Okay. You mean put 11? Okay. It, it doesn't really okay, perfect. And you're you're still. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Well, I've um, 
I've got you down. I'm going to go ahead and put you in my calendar. Uh, do you have a pen and paper close to you really quick? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, okay. Um, if you can just remember Monday at 11, I'm going to go ahead and put you in my calendar now, and I'll drop it off then, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Have a great weekend. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. There's a few things I would have liked to have done differently with that call. Um, I already knew what he was going to say even when I asked him the question of, hey, do, do you have a pen and paper? Can you grab a pen and paper real quick, right? And I asked it in a little different way because I could tell, and you guys could probably tell, he was kind of rushing me. He really didn't want to talk. He was okay with me dropping off information Monday. That's fine. Um, but he wasn't, you know, he, he wasn't real keen on continuing to talk to me uh, naturally. And so I, I kept it, you know, I kept it simple. Um, I reminded the time. I tried to get him to write it down. He said, you know, no, I don't have one. Uh, okay, you know. And so just kind of said it, moved on. Um, hope he's there. I'm not going to call ahead, you know. Um, actually, I don't even know who I'm going to give these to, but, but we'll figure that out. Um, probably find an agent on our uh, l- list of people that you know buy leads in, 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 in and around Springfield, Missouri and give them to them. So, uh, so there's, a, there's a couple of good examples in a row. All of these, no answer leads. Do you normally call them again tomorrow or when? I'll call, I would normally call them again tonight. I like a th- I like three calls in the first day. So I like three calls the first day, two calls the second day, one call the third day. Because that's six calls over 72 hours. And with, with Facebook and internet leads, normally it takes about takes about six calls on average to have the best chance of reaching a large largest majority so that's a great question also texting I text the same script it works right you finish the question they pick morning or afternoon and you give them a time two times and they pick a time right um, also obviously door knocking works works well um, emailing can work sometimes uh, I, I still like calls the best but if you're if you're a new agent or if you're an agent that's really good at door knocking and you prefer door knocking they can door knocking is what you should be doing a lot of door knocking then with these P H I L L I P E maybe maybe Philip Hello, Barbara. Yes. Hey, this is Cody. Hey, I'm getting back to you about your request for the new final expense information. Um, it was on Facebook, and you put uh, your favorite color is indigo. I'm assuming you remember that? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm the local field underwriter, and I'll be out in your area on Monday. Should I drop this information off in the morning or in the afternoon? Uh, I won't be here Monday. Okay. Um, let me look and see. Is... Tuesday or Wednesday better for you? Mm, I don't know yet. I just look at my schedule. Okay. Um, on, do, do, do you work on? Uh, do you work or have anything on Tuesday? No, I have a, I have a dental appointment on Monday. Oh, on Monday. Okay. Okay. Um, are mornings or afternoons typically better? Uh, afternoons. Okay. So maybe, maybe like uh, Tuesday at two. And if I'm available, okay. I won't know yet. Okay. Do you, are, are, you, are, you, are you normally available Tuesdays at 2? I know that, you know, you may not always be, but... 
depends on my doctor's appointment time. Uh, gotcha. Okay. Absolutely. Um, I I've got a four thirty. If you think moving it back would help a little. You know what I. Well, you just said that, but I ain't gonna. Yeah, absolutely. And then I'll just I'll just um, I'll just be there to, to, to drop it off and and, and hope hopefully it works out and, and hopefully since it's later later in the day it will. Um, are you still? At... Yes. Okay. And then. Why do we drop it off? This was the. Uh, it was on Facebook about the senior final expense programs, uh, state regulated and state approved uh, final expense information that you had requested. Oh, okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh, and then I'm actually putting you in my calendar now. Do you have a, can, can you have a pen and paper real quick? Uh, not near me. <clears throat> okay. Um, I'm going to put you in my calendar. Um, and then do, do you normally... I would just call first. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll make, I'll, I'll make a note. Um, and I will, uh, I've got you in there Tuesday at 4.30. And again, my name's Cody, okay? Cody? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. All righty. I hope you have a great weekend. Thank you for your time. You too, honey. Yes, ma'am. Bye-bye. Later. Later. Later, Gator. All right, so we just had 25 dials, right? 25 dials. I spoke to eight people. Normally about a third will answer the phone on the first call, sometimes even a little less with, with, with Facebook and internet leads, right? Uh, eight answered, set six. So that's a good, I mean, six appointments. We just spent like, I mean, I ad-libbed a little too. I mean, it was like 30, 30, 35, 40 minutes of like actual dial time and got six appointments from new leads. So that's a great example of how you can make money, succeed, in this business by actually calling leads. So I don't want to be a dude that gets on camera and just talks about stuff and fluff stuff up and gets you excited, but never actually does it, right? I'm the dude that backs, the, backs it up with real content. So those are real appointments. Those were real objections. Let me know what you think in comments below. I think it went pretty well. I think you can do the same thing. When you're thinking about leads from now on, I want you to think about secure agent leads. When you think about Who's in the insurance industry that's a freaking assassin on the phone? Well, you tell me. Have an awesome day.